Hi, this is my art journal for York University's Summer Institute, The Creative Process in Theory and Practice. My first symbol is the long road. The long road is an important symbol for the first readings we did for this class because they talk about how the arts are marginalized in schools and there is not a lot of importance placed on them. Rabkin and Redmond state that the arts survive at the margins of education as curriculum enrichment, rewards to good students, or electives for the talented. My road represents the importance that the arts should be on, the main road which lead to success, which Rabkin and Redmond demonstrated within their study about how the arts helped improve academic success, especially for students from low-income areas. Furthermore, Eisner comments on how the arts are not to believe to be a core subject. And once having identified core subjects, what is not core is either marginalized or absent from programs. Eisner also goes on to state on page 341 that there is something quite appropriate about the phrase back to basics. It's a matter of going back rather than forward. And, like most roadways, they're usually two-way streets where you can go forwards or, or backwards. My second symbol for my art journal is a series of construction signs that relate to our readings on semiotics. My first symbol connects to Siegel's reading about reading the signs. On page 65, Siegel states, Literacy today means more than knowledge of letters, as OED would have us believe. Contemporary literacy scholars have argued that literacy is always socially situated and ideologically formed. Furthermore, Siegel goes on to talk about the importance of multimodality and multiliterate. And that is why I think this construction sign is important, because it identifies that there's more than just one way to literacy. My second symbol connects to Siegel's, which stated, Children come to school with well-stocked semiotic toolkits that, when tapped, position them as meaning makers. Page 69. I think this symbol of a U-turn is important because it shows educators that they need to go back to what the children knows and build on that. Another symbol that I connected to Siegel's work is real work ahead because on 71 Siegel stated that reflective work of this kind helps students rethink their schooled notions that drawing and drama didn't count as real work. My last symbol connects to Harst and Albers writing about I'm risking it, teachers take on consumerism, which states that schools are lured into partnerships with corporations because of massive budget cuts and higher costs. This is important for schools to recognize that this is happening and that teachers educate students about the concerns around the different advertisements they face on their daily basis. My next symbol is a symbol of a car which relates to Jean Ann Klein's article, Stepping Inside the Story World, the Subtext Strategy, a Tool for Connecting and Comprehending. A car is a significant connection to Clyde's work because throughout her article, she discusses how it's important for students to step into the stories and pictures and other artistic forms that they are viewing in the classroom in order for them to understand the artwork from their perspective, as well as the other perspectives presented within the artwork. In addition, Clyde states on page 152, we engaged in transmediation, moving the experience from one communication or sign system to another, which again helps reflect what a car does because it moves people from one location to another. Furthermore, Clyde states in their findings that the subtext strategy moves beyond visualizing to naturally transport readers inside the story in a way unparalleled by other strategies we know, which again is reflected by a car. My next symbol are two different billboards that could be displayed along the sideway while you're driving to your next vacation spot or adventure. And they connect to 
Albers, Frederick, and Cohen's work on features of gender and analysis of visual texts of third grade children. In their article on page 238, they state that visual literacy studies position the visual as a significant language through which we interpret and interact with our world and suggest that we develop an ability to critically read and view images. Due to this quote, I chose to do billboards because they tend to be viewed by anyone because they are placed all over the country and they help influence and interact how children grow up and how people view different things. Due to the article's focus on gender, I specifically chose to try make two billboards, one that tended to be more female and another that was more male. These ideas also came from the article because in the study, Boys and girls were asked to draw pictures of representations of the opposite gender. Boys' pictures tend to represent them doing more, which can be seen in my billboard where I say take an adventure, whereas girls are more passive. In addition, Jenks states in her Language and the Design of Text article that an understanding of lexical and grammatical choices realize the meaning potential of language and text enables producers to design text purposely and it gives readers the power to see how texts are designed, how they mean, not just what they mean. Because of this article, I thought billboards were important representation because they are a public image viewed by many people. In Jank's article, she also analyzed a public, a public artifact and talked about the different meanings it had. My last image is of a, a cityscape, which connects to the two readings on digital technology. The first one, Reading by Design, Two Case Studies of Digital Reading Practices, by Rosell and Burke, comment on the changing literacy skills needed for students to access digital texts. In their article, they state on page 115, that it is clear that digital reading not only demands a different set of skills than printed text to, but also it carries a different set of assumptions and epistemological framings based on how a text is designed and produced. I thought the cityscape was important because it represents how we're hurtling towards the future despite what people would like. Moreover, Jank states that with digital texts, however, the reading path is to be constructed by the reader or by the image or nature of the multimodal text, stated on page 107. This is an important connection to a cityscape because a city is created and formed by the people living in it at that time, and it changes as generations change. My last image is of all of my different symbols for my reading journal put together to show how they complete a whole image. This is important for art education because it's important to understand that art is an important aspect of the curriculum and it should be included with math and language because all of our pieces of the curriculum create a holistic one that helps all students learn.